and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new set Sweater Weather and its coordinating dies. I love this set for fall and that label shape is awesome for so many things. We are also introducing our brand new wood grain note cards. We have navy, cranberry, walnut, spruce, butternut, and some awesome craft envelopes. I just love these note cards. So here we have the great tree from Sweater Weather and I'm just going to lay it down on my work surface and pick it up the block. That way it goes onto the block completely straight. Then we have this great leaf stamp and it's actually already set up for you. So all you need to do is pick it up with your block and you'll see that it's going to stamp the perfect fall leaves for that tree. So right there you'll just line it up and you kinda, I kind of play around with it until I like the placement. Stamp it out and you'll see how cool that looks. Then we also have an individual leaf that you can add around the tree if you wanted more leaves or to the bottom of the tree. I just love that one. And then we have these great larger leaves that are perfect for adding decorations or creating your own pattern papers. We have three different styles. We also have this great little swirly world to have the leaves flying through the air. A wonderful acorn. A really cute apple some great flowers, and a cute little heart. Here we have some great sentiments like hello, and smile, and of course, happy fall, and falling for you. And of course, we have our exclamation point that you can add to the end of your sentiments. And then we have this awesome label shape. I love it for highlighting sentiments and images. It's one of those great go-to stamps. And here I wanted to show you how a lot of the sentiments from this set fit inside that label, which is so awesome. So it's really great for quick cards. Here we have the dies and I just bent them apart at the wire tabs and I was left with all these great dies that line up perfectly with the stamped image. So once you line it up, I like to use some low tack tape to hold it in place there. And then I can run it through my die cut machine and get some perfectly cut images. Here's a look at all of the dies and I wanted to show you how this leaf die works. So you cut the leaves out and then you layer the tree on top of it, which I think looks so cool. The other thing that you can do with the tree die is cut it without the stamp and that is a really great look too. So I love that that die has two uses. So awesome. Here I am taking the smaller stitch party banner die and I'm going to run it through my die cut machine to get a great banner shape for my card. Then I'm going to go ahead and stamp this great tree onto the banner, a little bit hanging off because I want it to look like it's kind of coming out of the ground, which is the bottom of the banner. And then I'm going to stamp my leaves by stamping them in orange and then dark orange just a little bit on the sides. So you'll see I'll stamp it in the light and I like to test it first and then just get the edges. I'm just rolling it around in the darker orange just to give it some fun kind of dynamic look for fall, which I just love. Then I'm going to take that smaller single leaf and do the same technique with the light orange and the dark orange and start creating some leaves falling off the tree and also hitting the ground there of my banner. And this is so much fun. You'll see me go through it really fast, but I love doing that double inking. It just looks so cool. So here I'm going to score my card base and then I'll be using some of the new sweater weather paper to decorate my card. So I'm going through and kind of picking what patterns I think would look nice for my card. And then I'll go ahead and trim them all down. And this card is five and a quarter by four inches. That's the nice knit brown piece. And then we're gonna layer a piece that's three and three quarter by five over top. Next up, I have this little strip of orange that I'm stamping the Happy Fall in Versamark ink, which is super sticky and perfect for heat embossing with my white heat embossing powder. Then I can go ahead and heat it up with my heat tool and get a nice, bold sentiment on my pattern paper. 
I thought it would be fun to add an aged look to my little banner here. I thought it would give it kind of a warm fall feeling. So I'm taking some antique linen distress ink, putting it on my foam ink blending tool, and I'm starting off of the banner and then going onto it. And by doing this, it gives it a no nice soft look. It's not too hard of an edge. And I'm gonna keep doing that, just adding the ink all around the banner, concentrating it on the outsides and then lighter towards the inside. Then I'm gonna move on to a darker color, old paper, and give a little bit more dimension with that darker color, but this time I'll stay even more towards the outside, definitely keeping that middle part light. One thing I love to do with Distress Ink is to flick it on the sides of my paper. So I'm taking that foam and flicking it on the sides, and it's really gonna concentrate ink on the outside and also make those little stitching lines really pop. And now I'm gonna take an even darker color and once again, just add it very lightly to the outsides with the flicking motion, just to define that edge so that it doesn't get lost on my pattern paper. So here you can see I'm testing it on the card and just adding a little more darkness where I think that I need it. Now I've got the holes in the top of that banner and what I'm gonna do is create some knots with some hot cocoa lawn trimmings. So I'm gonna put a piece of the trimmings there through that hole and then I'm gonna start tying knots. And I'm gonna tie the knots on top of each other over and over again to create one giant knot. So you'll see I'm tying another knot and just sort of adding it to this knot pile. And it's kind of a cool way to fill that hole and, uh, and kind of keep any kind of string from being on top of the tree but still give it some kind of cool interest. So now I'm just testing to see if it's big enough and I thought, you know what, I think it needs some more knots. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more knots to it until I think it's the perfect size to fill that hole. Once it's done, I'm gonna trim off the end there and then also go to the back and trim that end off too. And I'm just gonna use some tape to hold that end in the back since no one's gonna ever see the back of this panel anyways. So I can just make sure that my knot's in the perfect position and then just tape that piece down. And then I'm gonna repeat it on the other side, once again threading it through and then tying knots upon knots to get a really cool look. And then I'll tape the back of that one there and now I'm ready to add it to my card with some foam adhesive. And then I'm gonna use some foam adhesive for that great little sentiment panel. And you can see how cool the card looks. I just love that sponging. And this would be a card that would be pretty easy to repeat too. Now I thought it would be fun to create a quick and easy card set using the sweater weather stamps and the wood grain note cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this great label shape six times, just in case I mess one up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and die cut all of them. And I just love how that label looks when it's all cut out. And then I'm gonna stamp sentiments in all of these little label shapes in different colors to coordinate with the note cards. These three sentiments were from Sweater Weather, and now I'm gonna take some sentiments from the new Argyle backdrops for the last two labels because the fonts coordinate, which is awesome. One last sentiment, and then I can start decorating all of these cute panels with images from the Sweater Weather set. So I'm using some cute leaves here and some hearts and some more hearts, because who doesn't love hearts? And also, I wanted to thank Nancy for this wonderful idea. She created this really cute card set, and I just had to replicate it because it was so adorable. So here we have some cool leaves. And now we're ready to play with all of these label shapes by adding them to our cards. Here I've taken a piece from the Sweater Weather 6x6 pad, and I'm gonna trim it down to three and a half inches wide and then to one and a quarter inches tall. And I'm able to get more than enough pieces out of one sheet of a six by six pad. Then I'm gonna take one note card out of each of the new five colors of wood grain note cards. And then I can start to assemble my cards. So I'm going to adhere that cute little piece of pattern paper about an inch and an eighth down from the top of the card. And then I'll use some foam adhesive on that cute little label to add it right to the center of that pattern paper piece. And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the rest of my note cards.
And now, just to add a little extra something, I'm using my Wink of Stella glitter pen and just adding glitter to those extra little stamped elements that I added around the sentiments. And this is just a super simple little note card set. I just love it. You can make a ton of these for gifts, which I think people would really, really enjoy. And you can see here, here is another set of these. So you could really make a ton of them at once, which I think would be awesome. So this is the Sweater Weather stamp set and its coordinating dies and our brand new wood grain note cards and craft envelopes. I just love this set and these awesome note cards. You can make cool fall cards like this one and you can also create really cute simple card sets with the new note cards which make perfect gifts throughout the holidays. So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see what cool things you come up with with these products. Have an amazing day. Bye.